Hi, welcome to another edition of Reflections. I'm your host, Deontay Brewer. Today is a special edition of Reflections. I'll be interviewing Trustee Austin Knox of the Wayne Township Trustee Office. Trustee Knox recently campaigned and won the position of trustee for Fort Wayne Allen County during our recent midterm election. So let's welcome Trustee Knox to this edition of Reflections. Remember to always be you, be bold, and be blessed. God bless. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and thank you most of all for sharing. Take care. Trustee Knox, welcome again to Reflections. Thank you for having me. It's good to have you here again. I first want to congratulate you on your win. Thank you. For Trustee Township. Well, thank you. President, as I call it. <laughs> Hashtag Opportunity Knox. Yep. I so love that. <laughs> um, so today we're just going to ask you a few questions regarding your campaigning and your goals for the township and just... Uh, how you've become more and more acclimated in your role right. as township trustee president. First of all, I wanted to start off and I wanted to ask you, what did you enjoy about campaigning? Uh, what I love most about campaigning was just getting out and seeing people face to face, uh, meeting voters face to face, hearing their issues, hearing their concerns, and just yes. being able to tell them about myself. Um, yes. Not letting them hear it second hand, but actually seeing them myself. That was probably my favorite part. Yes. Uh, knocking doors and giving calls to people, that was, that was my favorite part, just face to face contact. Yes, so. yes. What I was most impressed, the uh, social media, mm -hmm. you got on social media Correct. and you kept you know, people up to date about what you were doing, whether it was a baseball game mm -hmm. or softball game. Um, you guys, it was something else you guys did, but you always kept people informed with the hashtag, mm -hmm. you know, Opportunity Knocks. I mean, it spread like wildfire. Sure. Yeah. And so <laughs> I was just so pleased. The mailings, I mean, you were very diligent in your office with the mailings mm -hmm. and, you know, prompting people to vote. Yes. So that was wonderful. For sure. Well, I can't take credit for the Opportunity Knocks because somebody else came up with the idea, but so you always got to give credit where credit is due. I thought <laughs> that was your doing. No, no, but but I loved it. When he, when he told me, when he told it to me, I was like, you know what, we got to run with it. Yes. So. And then the colors, even I think colors are important, the blue, you know, mm -hmm. which is leadership to me correct you know that was so neat and so again I congratulate you well, thank you very much congratulate you now that you've won the midterm election mm -hmm. what goals do you have or does your office have should I say for correct. the for the people of Wayne Township. Correct. So our, I think our biggest goal is, because we've been dealing with the pandemic for the last couple of years, our biggest goal is getting out and getting in front of the people, letting them know what our office does, what services we provide, and how they can obtain those services. Um, okay. We want to be more inside the community. Uh, we just don't want to be in our office. We want to show yes. that our office cares. Uh, we want to yes. be outside and we want to be meeting the people where they're at. Yes. So that's what goals that we're looking forward to meeting this coming up year. Okay. And you all always, you, you have services there inside of the township mm -hmm. you know the the food and the clothing correct. medical needs correct burial assistance school mm -hmm. supplies and things like that but on the outside there's always you all just had a family fun day correct on may 21st correct which yeah. was a few days ago so tell us a little bit about that yep so we always try to do a little bit something out of the office for our families um just to try to engage in the community in this last week we had our family fun day where we had bounce houses, uh, face painting. We had nonprofit vendors come and, and talk yes. about what they do, what services they provide. We had a dunk tank, unfortunately. I had to go in, um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was all for good fun. Um, we also gave our scholarships away at this event um, yes. for, our, for our, 
our younger kids that receive tablets and then our older seniors that received $500 scholarships yes. that was, has recently been named after the previous trustee, Mr. Stevenson. Yes, um, yes. But it's just something to keep encouraging kids to keep keep their education in, 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 in their headlights and yes. letting them know that education can take them far. So. Yes, yes it can. And I know um, there was an event, there was like some health fair. Yep. Um, yeah. I remember, was it and it was in, it was warm that yeah, time of year, whatever. Yeah, yeah I remember that yep, as yep. well. So we did a, a vaccine drive. Um, I think that's what you're remembering, where we brought in some people that gave away vaccines for free on the spot, but we also gave away free food. We had a clothing drive there. That that way, um, if people were needing to go to uh, the food pantry one day but still need to get their vaccine, they could come to a one-stop shop and get it all knocked out. So we yes. wanted to remove some barriers for some people that way they can still get their health and everything done at one spot. Yes, and that's one thing I, I like to always stress, you know, people can come to the township inside mm -hmm. for assistance. Yes. You yep. also, you guys refer people to jobs, but mm -hmm. the township is active in the community. Yes, we are. You all, you know, have things on site, you mm -hmm. know, for the community to come out, mm -hmm. you know, when it's publicized, you guys do a good job, you know, on social media with your page, and so mm -hmm. the the resources are there. Yes. People just have to come out yes. and take advantage of them. Right. And you're always there front and center, mm -hmm. you know, with the staff, your dedicated staff. So mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Yes. Very wonderful. How can your office further assist the needs of the residents of the Wayne Township? Um, I think the first thing we have to do is actually listen to the needs of the residents of the township. Um, if you don't know what people are saying, then you don't know what they need. Um, yes. So I think we've done a good job so far of listening. Um, but we also want to make sure that we're flexible in the assistance that we can provide. Um, we know that things are getting tough right now with inflation and yes. other things going with, whether it be the price of rent or gas, utilities, yes. whatever, everything's going up. So yes. um, at our last April board meeting, uh, we were able to uh, present to our board members uh, the increase of some things that we are able to help with. So okay. we're going to help with a little bit more rent, help with, uh, we're actually adding gas vouchers to what we can help oh, with. Okay. Because we do know that not every job is on the bus line and not every medical office is on the bus line. Right. And if we want people to be able to be able to not just survive, but to thrive yes. and find these good jobs, then we got to eliminate some of the transportation barriers as well. So. Yes. Um, I was at the grocery store today mm -hmm. and uh, Eggs have gone up to a dozen eggs, almost three dollars. Goodness, a dozen, and uh, I got just a half a dozen because one, they're full of cholesterol, yeah. and I'm watching my For cholesterol. Sure. But food, you know, as expensive as mm -hmm. you mentioned, a roast, a three-pound roast is like sixteen or seventeen dollars, right. yeah. and so you know, I think of the people you all serve, mm -hmm. you know, the extra assistance that they need. And uh, so just all that you all do, you know, to help the vouchers, mm -hmm. um, it's just such, the township is just such a necessary, vital resource Correct. for Fort Wayne. And I think many people still don't know or don't know the depths mm -hmm. that you all go to, mm -hmm. you know, the work behind the scenes, mm -hmm. that you, the, the, the board meetings, yep. you know, that you all have. And I mean, sometimes you can't just leave it at work. You take yeah. it home yeah, as well too. So um, it's just a valuable, valuable resource. Mm -hmm. Um, now, this is a question I've always, I know, you, you know, how active you all are in the community, mm -hmm. but I've wanted to know, as far as classes, will classes become available, yep. teaching township residents how to become more self-sufficient? We will. Um, so we have started our classes back, our Wednesday training classes. Um, anybody that receives some type of assistance from us is required to go through a training class on Wednesdays. Okay. Um, and we couldn't do them due to COVID um, just because we didn't want to put people in a room close to each other and having them catch COVID. Okay. Um, but we started bringing them back. Um, we're going to start teaching how to fill out applications correctly, how to fill out okay. resumes correctly. Okay. But we're not going to stop there. We're actually going to start bringing in, try to bring in mental health professionals. Yes. Um, because we yes. know that living paycheck to paycheck or worrying about where your next meal is going to come from, that can be mentally draining for oh, people. Yes. Um, yes. So we want to make sure that w there's somebody there for somebody to talk to. Um, we're okay. also going to bring in addiction specialists. Um, okay. We know that there's a, a drug crisis right now. Oh, yes. Um, so we want to make sure that maybe if nobody in the room is addicted, they might know somebody who needs some help. So right. if we can help spread the word that way, um, both with mental health and with addiction specialists, I think we'll be, be doing a lot better than where we are now. I, 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 I'm, I think so because I, you know, I'm someone that, you know, wants to one day have a facility for people, you mm -hmm. know, and to help them get back on their feet. And you hear of, you know, agencies, the Lutheran Social Services and stuff like that, but you all, um, just as far back as I can remember, you all are out there in the community mm -hmm. helping people, you know, helping people of color. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you said, you know, mental health and 
mental health right now, there's so much going on in the world. You know, mm -hmm. mental health, people have to know that, you know, there's someone, an agency, a business, that it's an outreach, it helps them. Yes. You know, so I think that is very important to have those type of classes for people, you know, coming in, because you would think, you know, well, a person should know how to fill out an application or a person should know how yeah. to, you know, complete a resume, but sadly there are yep. people that don't. It's not always the case. That's not always It is the not case. always the case, yep. and so your your facility is needed, mm -hmm. you know, to help someone, you know, in that regard. So very, very good. Um, now, the bi the township is, do you know when it was built? What year our, it was our built? Our building? Yes. Oh, How no, old is I, I don't. I know that okay. before uh, before our building, they were off of uh, Superior, or not Superior, off of Calhoun. Okay. So, yeah, we, we okay. moved, I want to say, oh, I want to say maybe 30 years ago. Okay. That's what I've been told. I, okay. I can't tell you the, the exact date. Sure, but. sure. So, I've gone inside, and it's mm -hmm. a nice downstairs yeah. and very clean, and then yeah. they have the upstairs. I like that upstairs, yeah. you know, for some reason. Yeah. Um, they said and, it used to be a doctor's office is what oh, I was told. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. kidding. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, you guys have the upstairs and you have the offices and the rooms and trustee, your office is huge. <laughs> and it's like it's in one room and then it extends to another <laughs> room. And so very, very huge yeah. and very, very clean, yeah. that carpet, yes. I, I remember yeah. that. Um, are there any plans for um, renovation space? Are you all gonna, you know, on the inside, are you gonna, you know, maybe expand a little bit, maybe downstairs? Ah, so there are no plans for renovations on the inside, but right okay. now we have probably one of the biggest projects that we've um, taken on in a while. Um, we have started uh, putting our, together a solar project. Um, oh, I'm not okay. sure if you've gone by the office lately, but we have solar panels that have been installed on the outside of the building. Okay. And what that will allow us to do is uh, we have been running a pretty high electric bill at the office. So oh, to be okay. good stewards of the taxpayer's dollar, we, yes. we were trying to figure out ways to reduce that so we can use that money elsewhere in the budget. So okay. we were able to uh, enter into a guaranteed energy solar contract that's oh, going to nice. guaranteed savings. Um, and that way we're not asking for the taxpayers for any more dollars for that project. Okay. Um, and also on that project, we made sure that there was a, um, minority internships uh, okay. involved. So we uh, have two minority intern students that are learning how to do this new and, uh, this new and improved uh, energy resource that's gonna be a big time player here in the near future. Okay. So, but yeah, okay. we're, we're a, a leader in the community with Going Green, so we're excited oh, about that's that. That's wonderful, and you know, that, um, that's a concern, you know, for lots of people, mm -hmm. you know, recycling and Going Green and yep. things like that. And so, congratulations oh, on that contract. You. Thank um, you, yeah, that's it's something that, you know, already under your tutelage you yeah know? so that's yeah. that's i know you're proud and, of that and the staff yeah and, and we gotta gotta make sure we give our board a shout out for that pat turner bruce steer and tony henry uh they all approved that um and so we're excited that we're going to be able to cut back on that cost and yes and i think the taxpayers would be excited about that oh, too oh yes so. oh yes i and speaking of inside i know the clothing um mm -hmm. i know of the clothing store yep. the most i've been in there and uh um i just like the fact that you all have clothing Correct. you know and shoes yep. for people yeah. um because sometimes, you know, if people are going out into the world and they're, mm -hmm. you know, going to a job interview, yep. I mean, you feel better. I know I feel better when I have something on new. Yes. <laughs> now, yes. if it can't be new, if it's presentable looking. Yep. Yep. And the Clothing Emporium has clothes, you know, for adults mm -hmm. all the way down to babies. Correct. I've seen. Correct. And so that's, uh, you know, I like that. You know, and then, you know, the other things, you know, mm -hmm. that the job, I love the job fairs, yep. you know, when people can come in, I've come in, you know, yeah. and looked for postings, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. different places. And these are, you know, good places, GM yep. and, you know, nursing homes and stuff like that. Yep. So. so, yeah, while we're on the job fair thing, we just had our second one here was that a couple weeks ago. Okay. Um, we had over 12 employers come and we're looking forward to do some more job fairs in the future on okay. our site. So. so can you tell the viewer some of uh, those employers that came, yep. you know, to that? Yep. Job so we fair? had uh, we had FWCS come. OK. Um, we had uh, the Fort Wayne Parks Department come. OK. Yeah, we had a couple temp agencies were there. Nice. Uh, I think Fort Wayne Steel was there. OK. Um, we've got some some more coming We're we haven't finalized them yet. We're going to okay. do one with one of the bigger companies here in the Fort Wayne area that okay. once we get that finalized, we'll be able to release. So and so I'd like the viewer to, you know, tune in you know to the the web page yep. you all you know Wayne Township trustees office has a web page yep. and, uh, and on a Facebook Facebook, yeah. Facebook. <laughs> and uh, you know stay you know watch out for that yep. because you all are very good about updating Correct. and letting the community know Correct. and uh, jobs are 
we need jobs. Mm -hmm. We love jobs. We love to work here in Fort Wayne. And yeah. so there is no excuse, Correct. you know, for people to say, well, I can't find a job. You know, there are no jobs because mm -hmm. the township advertises Correct. and then, you know, you can come in and, you know, and, and get that job. So, mm -hmm. um, I do this, I, this question kind of, I said I wasn't going to ask you directly about yourself, but, okay. um, what, in, in running for office, mm -hmm. what did that teach you about yourself? Um, I would say it taught me about myself as how hard I could work. Um, I would go and work my full shift during the day at the office, mm -hmm. um, but as soon as I was done there, I would go knock doors. Mm -hmm. And wow. I would probably walk probably almost seven miles a day. Um, oh my. Yeah, so I would push myself to the, to the limit, and I'd, that's probably what I learned about myself is how much I, or how hard I could work. Um, okay. But, uh, but I did it in a way because I love what we do, um, mm -hmm. and I love how we serve, and I wanted to make sure that my team and I could continue doing that. So, right. so that's how I pushed myself, and and right. yeah, so I learned how hard I could work. And by you saying that you worked, you know, a shift, mm -hmm. you know, and then you know the extra went the extra mile, Correct. you know, yeah. and uh, knocked on doors and mm -hmm. you know the flyers, yep. Yep. Um, and then those things for the yard yep, the and, yard signs. um but i mean your staff too helped as well yeah yeah there was did a couple you, of your family members yep, so and, i had a, i had a big team um, okay and i'm so blessed to have them um, yeah staff couldn't ex help on on the clock just because there's a conflict of interest between politics and actual okay. taxpayers dollars so they would take their own time to to work to work if they wanted to okay um yeah, and I had friends and family that helped and, and everybody pitched in. So, yeah, I was truly grateful. I for remember that. there was like some sort of a parade or something I saw mm -hmm. online. Yep. I don't know when that was because the days are running into each yeah. other. But I saw, if, correct me if I'm wrong, there was a banner someone oh, was holding. Yep, yep. And your mom was right there in the front. Yep, so she was I, probably cheesing. What I said, it? well, <laughs> if Mrs. Knox is in the front, it's, it's going the way it's supposed to. Yep. She's going to make sure. And yep. so that that is neat to have family mm -hmm. you know as long as i've known you the family support that you have right yeah truly blessed very i uh i saw when you won um there were pictures mm -hmm. you know of your your mother and father and your brothers yep. and fiance and mm -hmm. so um so yeah that's i i'm just very proud trustee well, you. you know as i've told you um to see a young you know african-american mm -hmm. vital positive positive man um who wants to help Correct. and 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 puts his his money where his mouth mm -hmm. is you know to go out and serve and you know people forget um you know if you're doing well sometimes you forget the underdog or people mm -hmm. who aren't mm -hmm. you know are you well that's their problem or you know they could be doing better but there are people out there that need help there are you know there and are. not just them but generations that go back and so they're stuck mm -hmm. in a cycle of poverty and so the township, you know, trustee's office is vital. Correct. Is. I didn't, I didn't understand, you know, um, the relevance or the importance of the office mm -hmm. until some years ago. You know, I knew of other key places, but I didn't understand, you know, but now that I know, I mean, it's just needed. It is. It's, it's needed. And, uh, it's, it's one of the heartbeats of Fort Wayne. It is. You know, people look at other, you know, foundations and I'm not going to call names, you know, <laughs> because they're all, you know, vital to our city, but you know, your, the township is needed mm -hmm. and it's, it's important. And I'm thankful that it's there, yes. you know, for those people who are often, you know, overlooked and mm -hmm. neglected. Sure. And, uh, you know, so I thank you, well, you know, you. and uh, your team, yeah. you know, for all that you do day to day, you mm -hmm. know, for the services and, you know, for the, the, the long nights mm -hmm. um, and just everything you've done. And, you know, to congratulate you on your win, mm -hmm. you know, I was thank telling you. people, <laughs> I says, oh, God, I hope he wins. You know, he's just suited for this position. Well, thank you. you know, you started out, you know, I was looking at your bayou. Mm -hmm. You had worked there years prior, Correct. you know, so you know the ins and out. Mm -hmm. But um, to get out and kind of to campaign, you were kind of to see it up close yes. and yeah. personal. And so, you know, I know the team is happy for you. I heard you brought in um, cookies from uh, the cookie cottage. I did. I did that first day. Uh, the first day after the election <laughs> night, uh, my fiance said, you got to make sure you take your staff something. She's so, smart. yeah. So, so I made sure that I went and got uh, a couple dozen of cookies from the cookie cottage and took yes. them to the team and, and thanked them all for their hard work that they, cause I mean, yeah, we can go out and campaign, but yes. if, if people don't see the work that you're doing in the office, 
and see the work that our team is doing in the office, they wouldn't have reelected us or, or let us get that win in the election. So, right. so it's it's all a team effort at the end of the day, um, and, and our my team is, is the best. So, and that's wonderful because again, in your bio, I saw that you know you've mentioned that, and when I interviewed you last year, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the things that stuck out. That I remember you saying that you know, in other words, I can't do this by myself. No, no, it's it's never an I thing. It's always we over me for that's the That's wonderful, and a lot of people, a lot of leaders, you know, they're at the forefront. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, to see you coming in, and that was one of the first things I heard about you, you know, that you include your team. Yes. You yeah. know, you're very kind to your team. Yeah. Um, you know, you know them, yeah. some of them on a personal level. You sure. take the time to ask, yes. you know, Miss Patsy, how's mm -hmm. your son doing? Or Miss mm -hmm. Patsy, you know, if it's a birthday, we'll tell this person happy birthday. Yes. Yeah. That means a lot, yeah. trustee. Yeah. And so, um, they're just lucky to have you and well, I'm lucky to have them. You're lucky to have them yeah. as I was about <laughs> to say and Fort Wayne Fort Wayne's Wayne Township is lucky to have the both of you yeah. and uh, it's I know you know the power of politics and how they work and mm -hmm. you know what you can do because I stood behind Opportunity the Knox yes. Opportunity Knox and I shared I did my well, share. thank you thank you it's greatly appreciated <laughs> I said he's gonna he's probably doesn't like all that but I <laughs> shared and no. you know I told people and I prayed and well, so we're just very proud and so you know once again I thank you for sitting with me today thank you for You're having a hard me. working man I mean you work hard and you know, have a family you know but to come and, and sit and talk to me again what's well, an honor I really appreciate it honor is mine uh, blessings, you know, to you, you. in the office uh, during this tenure, and uh, I continue to wish you success. Well, thank you, and, and you got some congratulations due to you too, don't you? Well, I did. I graduated. <laughs> yes, um, I graduated from college yes, uh, with my bachelor's degree. That's awesome. It was a long ride, That's a long awesome. ride. But I'm thankful yes. for my family, for sure. um, my mother, and you know, my siblings, my father, my grandparents. Mm -hmm. You know, were very in instrumental. Um, in my college success. That's so, awesome. Um, Congratulations. Thank That's you, awesome. Trustee Knox. And so, as always, for the viewers, be bold, be you, be blessed, God bless. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.